Hello there. Uh, fuck, sorry, sorry, I should have known you'd be on edge. Everyone heard about what happened at the cookout. I'm sorry about Uriah and Alonzo. Alright, I shouldn't talk about them like they're dead. I apologize for that. Uh, your your eyes just got me spooked. I haven't met a lot of vampires before, so seeing them like that was a, a surprise. <laughs> yes, I'm Louis Garraway. Yes, Jack is my dad. Listen, I do apologize on behalf of him. He can be difficult sometimes. Well, yeah, most of the time, but I promise that he was doing what he thought was best at the time. He's been on edge since the first report came in about a missing persons case, especially because it was a loss from part of our pack. Well, unit, because technically that's what we are, but we call ourselves a pack because there ain't no wolves here. Oh, right. Uh, well, I, I just came by to offer an apology on his behalf. It's less of formality on my part, and... More so about orders from my unit. We're deeply sorry about how f our former Alpha behaved back then. At, well, at the at the cookout. Uh, yes, former. My dad, Jack, was the Alpha. But after what happened at the cookout, the unit made him step down for a bit while they sort some things out. Our unit takes public appearances seriously. As our alpha, my dad was supposed to represent us fairly, and knowing that he not only acted untowardly before he was trans, but also fell into one so easily, the rest of the unit weren't too happy. The Garroway unit is very strict about this kind of business. Never mind that transes don't work that way, but they don't really play about a lot of things. Which is why I was sent to track you and provide an apology. I insist. My dad can be proud of himself and his unit. He put a lot of work into what we are now, and he don't like anything that troubles that. That said, he was wrong. He should have handled business differently, and he shouldn't have insulted another alpha. I am sorry for him. Also, after the pack heard about who your guest was, I was told to send my regards to them as well. I know that this seems like a dumb question, but are you okay? Well, I know you're not. You've lost your spouse and your boyfriend in one day, and you're probably worried about 
and panicked or scared because you don't know what's happened to him. Right, sorry, it's a habit. Speaking of Alonzo, he stopped by the apartment of a member of our unit. He helped console him after they lost their best friend, who we found out was the fledgling who attacked the function, which is, wow, god damn it. Sorry, but we do appreciate what he did. They seemed louder afterwards, and we were all glad to see it. After y'all recovered the fledgling, my dad said he finally recognized him and sent some members of our unit to get him over to a healer and be looked at. And we now have a few of our own watching over them in the meantime. We appreciate y'all not killing them. The doc said that with some feeding and a few hours worth of intensive magical treatment, they'll be able to counteract the bloodlust they built up. Yes, that is why I'm also here for another reason. To help. Uriah has done a lot for our unit. Their business with my dad helped feed folks. And she also helped with our unit's housing. We don't forget kindness like that. Or at least I don't. You couldn't pay me to forget it. Now one is probably the reason I'm here today. It was back when my dad was just setting up the business. We were all pretty much dirt poor. People weren't interested in swamp, so he was hardly getting business. And when we started hearing rumors of old spirits and such in swamps, people thought that was going to be the end of it all. Turned out that Uriah was the one who sort of started the rumors. And the place in particular he said had spirits were dwelling was one of the prettiest spots in the swamp. Yeah, something about small miracles happening in the swamp if you went there at a certain time. They suckered a lot of people into visiting during the tourist season, and people came flooding in because of those rumors. Couples, explorers, Obsessives and all those high-end influencer folks. Before we knew it, Dad was booked and our unit was ready to start moving out and about and taking care of each other. Yeah, Uriah did that. And as the current Alpha, I'm looking to repay their kindness now however I can. Well, interim Alpha. Until the unit decides otherwise, but... Pretty much an alpha. Well, I'm I'm filling in for the position for now, but just never just never mind. Just know that you got a whole unit back in you. Of course. Despite my dad's act, he admires your eye and everything they've done. He sucks at showing it, but our unit will make up for that tonight in whatever way we can. There's a reason people don't go around pissing off a pack of dogs, and the unit is pretty fucking pissed. We'll avenge the dead. It won't be easy getting it all back to normal, especially later, but we all can agree that we want the Bouchards dead. Sorry, that was rude of me. Um, I'm Louis Garraway. On behalf of the Garraway unit, I want to extend our deepest apologies for... We really are sorry for what happened with Jack. It, it never should have happened and... Alright. I'm 
sorry for saying sorry that much. I'm the interim alpha of the unit. I came here to lend support and find the Bouchards. You know where they are? I don't mean to interrupt, but I did hear that you took off as soon as you heard Alonzo on your ride disappeared. It was hard to even get a scent off you, so you kind of are to blame for that, not the wolf. Right, sorry for that. So, what you're saying is that they played us all by taking people from one place. So we wouldn't go searching anywhere else too much. Sneaky fucking bastards. Right, uh... I can take a few people with me and go investigate the location you have, while some other folks search the rest of the areas. Are y'all gonna be joining us, or will you be going ahead? Alright then, we'll rendezvous with y'all outside of your eyes' estate. We'll be ready to head out when you are. 